when they come into these strength blocks, um, it's important to maintain their strength. So doing the gym um, three days a week and concentrating on all their core exercises as well. So the core exercises allow them to be a little bit more particular with their movement patterns in relation to kayaking. And the strength, um, you tend to have to touch on that every second day just to maintain your strength for your starts and um, for your transitions through paddling. So the main lifts, we try and um, keep all the same lifts that we do in Australia. So we literally copied the gym here from our gym in Australia. So we know that we can do specific exercises. So when we transition from Australia into Europe, we know we don't lose any days in training. So we literally come from our bench pull to a bench pull that we made and copied from Australia. So the athletes know that they can come in and lift weight for weight and maintain their sessions. We still do a lot of old school work that hasn't, certain lifts haven't changed, definitely. Um, the rep ranges and that have probably become a little bit more refined as our knowledge has grown. So, um, and as we move through the season, different phases of training change the reps and move towards um, when the intensity on water changes to more of a race focus, we try and just maintain our strength and power, which we know what rep ranges are. So in the off season, we've worked on building up our strength to get that rep range as high as possible on the weight that we're trying to achieve. Um, in regards to core, our core exercises have become a lot more physio based. So every athlete has a screening and then their specific exercises, their core exercises relate back to their specific needs from a physio perspective in relation to the sport, so in relation to the kayaking. So there's definite exercises that we maintain day in, day out that are preventative in relation to kayaking that are physio based. Let's go, come on. Certain athletes love being in the gym, definitely, and some athletes um, definitely they like the water environment and that's why they gravitate towards it. So they potentially don't, they tolerate doing gym work, but they don't necessarily like it. They understand that it makes for better time on water, which is where and why they do what they do because they love the water. So um, that goes back to biking, to swimmers, to other sports I've coached. They do the sport because they love the sport. And then there's the trappings of having to do gym to improve their times in the water.